If you're wondering how to set up your first WooCommerce website using WordPress, I'm going to show you how to do it in 10 minutes. Now, I'm using Cloudways to install my website. You can get 30% off by using the code Jeremy. I'll put the link in the description, but let's get into it. So once you install your server using Cloudways and what you want to do is install an application, you can click add application, click on your server. I just named mine online store. You can click add application, find WooCommerce, and then you want to name it and then add that through. Once you've done all that, you want to click on this little arrow. Once you do that, you just want to click this little arrow here, this little icon, it'll take you to the website and then you can actually click on your website and it will open up. Now, once you're in WordPress, you can see it's already installed WooCommerce on the side. Here, we've got products, payments, analytics, and you've got everything you need in WordPress like pages. I'm gonna go down to appearance. So what you wanna do is go down to appearance on the left-hand side and go to themes. And now what I wanna do is I wanna install Astra. So I'm gonna install Astra with Cloudways. You get Astra Pro one year for free, which is really great. Now I'm gonna install that. It's gonna change our default editor so we can have Elementor or something else that is better to work with. Now let's click activate. And that's gonna activate that theme on our website. I wanna click on customize this here and it should open up that website. Site, which is cool cool so we've got a just a basic little layout here but what I want to do is I want to have a template and use that because it's going to speed up that process instead of working from scratch now once I've installed Astra I'm going to go to the left hand side on my sidebar and click on Astra and just click on the dashboard and you can see what the dashboard looks like it looks really cool I'm going to go to the starter templates up the top click on that and what you want to do is click start building now and it'll install those starter templates so we can start working on our site now you can build with AI with the website builder or use classic starter templates for now I'm just going to build with the classic and I'm gonna click Elemental and Elemental allows us to build easily you know when we're creating sections or just moving things around now we've got a lot of interesting sites templates here there's a wide range of them as you can see now let's find a e-commerce store we can come up here we can go maybe online shop here and what we want to do is we want to find I'm gonna click on this one planet earth store and you can see it doesn't have a premium tag, so it's free. Let's click on that. Beautiful. So we got this website. Now, before continuing, we can change the fonts and the colors. So let's make it a bit more unique, less boring. Let's find a font that feels a bit nicer. I really like this font. I don't know. Nunito Sans, the logo. I'll leave that for now. And the color palette. Let's change around the color palette a bit. Let's see what we can do. We got blues, reds, orange. I think orange is nice. Let's change it maybe to blue and click continue. Now we want to select some features here. You can see we want, these ones are automatically ticked off. Now if you do want, uh, let's say you want a bookings and appointments, you can tick on this or free live chat, whatever it's up to you, you can do that. Let's just maybe do free live chat and then I'm going to press continue and I'm going to click skip. And then it's going to ask for some information. So you can like put your name in here for my company. I'm going to tick that off and I'm going to click understand and we want to submit. Now it's going to go generate that website and then we can go in and start changing the products, updating with our branding and make it look fresh. Yay, it's up and running. Let's do it. Let's click view the website and hopefully it's going to have a nice website ready to go, ready for us to edit. We got our website up. You can see got posters there. What our customers say. I've got the blue color going on. Really, really great. Now what we can do is we can click edit with Elementor up the top bar and it's going to give us access to to be able to manipulate and change the design around, upload our own images, etc. Ooh, we got our website up. You can see you've got posters there, what our customers say. I've got the blue color going on, really, really great. Now what we can do is we can click edit with Elementor up the top bar, and it's gonna give us access to be able to manipulate and change the design around, upload our own images, etc. The way Elementor works is you've got all your elements on your site, so you've got your widgets, um, you've got text, buttons, a uh, whole bunch of stuff on the pro side as well. So if you do want to get that upgrade, so we can use the free stuff here. You got the grids, uh, you also got global widgets on the pro, and then you got the structure. So everything is a container or a box. And um, what we can actually do is you can right click on any section, you can duplicate a section. So if you want to duplicate that column, uh, you can do that. You can uh, reset style, you can save a template, you can click on the plus and add sections for let's say maybe I want to come down here and you can see the containers on the right side. I can come here and plus and maybe want a grid or a flex box. Let's just say we want flex and we want like uh, four columns. And then I can come in here and what we can do is literally just drag and drop whatever we want. So uh, maybe we want an image here. You can also see what it looks like on tablet and then mobile as well. 
and it's already responsive and that's why I like using these templates so you don't have to design for mobile it already has it ready to go we can come and test the product pages and what we want to do we want to change some of this text and the images so I'll show you what we're gonna do. You can go and click edit products if you're on the editor. And you can also do it on the sidebars. You can click products, it'll take us there. So we're gonna put here, draw hoodie, light. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in some text here. Uh, you can see description. Product description is what we want. The price, we're gonna change it to $59.99. A short description here. I'll we'll paste that in so you can use AI to get some text and stuff um, And then the image here what I'm gonna do is click on the image select uh, file and I'm gonna find that shirt cool I'm gonna set that as the product image We can see that it's changed and then I'm gonna go to the top right and click update which will update all those details that we just uh, added cool now if we Click on the permalink here. It should take us to that page Cool, now we can see we've got the our image there, we've got all the text we put, and then we can go ahead and um, you know add to cart. We can do a test, we can see the cart there, which is cool. We can click view cart and then proceed to check out. And so it'll be good to test and make sure that you've got the payment uh, processing set up. So you can obviously change and update that by if we go to, so we wanna go down to the left hand side, click on payments, and then it will take you to the settings and the payments and I can click complete setup on the right hand side. And what we wanna do is just tick on everything as we can see, um, what else we got? Alipay and that stuff, we don't need that. Click continue. And then we can go start accepting payments. And then just follow along with all the uh, details. Cool, and once you've done that, it's gonna ask you for all your bank details and your logins, and you will just connect to Stripe. Once you're in that um, Stripe login page, then you can connect your account. As you can see, WooPayments partners with Stripe. So you just put your email, and then you do all your logins and stuff, and then you'll have your payments ready to go, and then people can start buying from your website, and then you're just gonna start marketing and promoting it. It's really simple to get started and set up especially if you use Cloudways. Remember, I got a 30% off discount for you. Just do the word, just use my code Jeremy to get started and set up your server. I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you do want to learn more about what WooCommerce offers, you can actually watch this video right here to show you the benefits from WooCommerce versus Shopify. Cheers.